Chris Sanchez? Chris Sanchez, yeah. Nice to meet you. and Dolls. Jim Minter. Nice to meet you. Have a seat. I don't know if you've been briefed on anything. You're not in trouble. Um, an incident happened in January of, on the 27th of this year. Do you remember it at all? <laughs> yeah, I'm assuming um, the 19-year-old that was pregnant. Right. Yeah. Um, can you tell us what happened? What you did with it? What from the beginning, from like when you first saw her to when you yeah. last? Uh, sure. So I um, triaged the patient. Okay. You know, brought her to our triage room, asked her some of the intake questions, and then moved her to a treatment room. Um, I probably started an IV, gave some medications. Okay, anything else? What was her chief complaint? Chief complaint, if I do remember. I think it was abdominal pain or flank pain, something like one of those two. Um, do you remember what treatment room you moved her, you moved her to? Possibly two. I think it might have been room two. Okay. Yeah. Um, anything helps you remember that? Um, no, just looking at, kind of thinking of the layout of the ER. Gotcha. Um, so you, so you triaged her from, so like, did you bring her in from the waiting room? Yeah. Okay, so you brought her in from the waiting room, took her in the treatment room, mm -hmm. and then, so, um, like you triaged her, you just got her chief complaint, did vitals? Chief complaint, vitals, uh, I believe the doc came in and kind of did a quick assessment in the triage room before we moved her back to a treatment room. Um. Yeah, then from there we gave her some pain medication, she started feeling a little better, and then she said she needed to go have a bowel movement, and that's kind of when the whole thing happened. So what did you do after that? So when she went to do the bowel movement, where were you at? Uh, initially I was at the nurse's station, um, and then at some point I went and kind of checked on her, knocked on the door, seen if okay. she needed anything, she denied, she said she didn't need anything. Did you hear anything? I didn't hear anything. Flush, uh, told it flush. Yes, after a while I started hearing. So I probably checked on her two to three times, I'm not exactly sure. And then I just kept hearing paper towel dispenser mm -hmm. and um, flushing and like the water running. And I knocked again, did she need anything? Denied anything. And then eventually it got to a point where I said, you need to come out. And mm -hmm. I, I asked the uh, the clerk to get the key to unlock the door because obviously she locked the door to go to the restroom. And uh, whenever I finally, we finally had the key to unlock it, she opened it and just kind of walked out. And Did she say anything at that point? She didn't point? say anything. She was just looking kind of straight past me and went back to the room. Did you look into the restroom? I did. Okay. Yeah, what did you so see? Went into the restroom and I saw a large amount of blood. Where? And it was on the floor. It, it appeared to, like, had she had tried to wipe it up in places. Mm -hmm. It was kind of on the back wall behind the, the commode, the toilet. Um, and so I said, you know, you okay? What what happened? And she said, I'm on my period, what she said. And she walked out. And then I went in, because uh, at this point we had already received the, the positive pregnancy lab test. When was that? I, I, I couldn't tell you the exact time, but I know prior to that, we got a positive pregnancy test on her. Okay, prior to the bowel movement, did you tell her that we got, y'all got a positive? No, the doc hadn't been in there to tell her yet. Okay, so, okay. Yeah, so, went in there, and I did look into the, the trash can at that time to see if there had been anything tossed, but the liner was fresh and completely empty. I didn't pick up the can, obviously, I would have known, but I just looked in the can and there was nothing in there. It was a fresh line. Like, uh, so there was no trash in the line. There was liner. nothing in there. Yeah. Do they? Do you know if they keep fresh liners? Because I know some places they put. Yeah, there's usually new like liners a in in the bottom of the yeah. trash can, and then they put the liner in exactly. and then take the trash out. Right. That way, when they change it, they can just put a fresh right. one in. So yeah, there's usually a roll or a bunch of extra liners at the bottom of the trash can. So you said there was blood on the floor, and it looked like some parts of it looked like it had been. Right, wiped it looked up. like it had been wiped up. Um, well, and you said on the wall, was there any on the toilet? Uh, I think there might have been some at the bottom of the toilet. I, I don't remember if there was some like on the actual seat. Okay. No. All right, and then she, so the doc hadn't told her that she had popped up. No. So like, because um, speaking with Vasquez, she said that, and uh, don't quote me on this, but like she did, y'all did a urine and then a blood? 
But, right, so typically they'll do a urine and that just tells you negative, positive. And then they do the blood, to, it kind of gives them a range of how far along. So far along she did is. the urine come back after as well? or So did all of it come back it after probably, she came back? It probably all came back before. Okay. Before. The, but the doctor would be the one to tell yeah, her. Yeah, the doctor would okay. be the one to go into the room and you know, tell her. And after she came out of the restroom, that's when she went in to do a vaginal exam, obviously. We didn't know what this blood was from. We were, we were a little concerned that maybe she had, you know, known that we were going to figure it out and that she might have harmed herself or something in the restroom. So the doc wanted to go check her, but obviously that wasn't the case. And how long have you been working here? Here, about five years. Okay. Yeah. So during your time, if somewhere, someone were to pull the, the, the emergency cord in the have you been here when somebody oh, pulled that? Yeah. For, for so the somebody specifically. Right. So yeah. if somebody pulled that cord, y'all would have known. Oh yeah. It, it, the restrooms typically at every facility will give a different chime uh -huh. than a room, like a room call bell. Right. It's a little. It's like more of an urgent uh, chime, I guess okay. you would say. Yeah. Just so that way everyone knows it's not just your normal. Right. <laughs> and to your knowledge, that alarm never went off. That alarm never. <coughs> um, so once, what then? What then? What occurred? <coughs> so after that, uh, her and uh, our, the patient went back to the room. The physician and a female uh, nurse went in to do the vaginal exam just to make sure everything was good. There, I, I believe I wasn't in the room, but I believe that's when the doctor said, "Hey, you know, your test came back positive uh, for pregnancy." She adamantly denied it up to that point, even with me the entire time. She said she was a virgin, she's had her period every month consistently. Uh, so uh, the doc was doing that. Then you said that, and she told you that when you were she triaged? She told me that in triage, yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, that she was a virgin and that she had had her last pregnancy was just prior on that month and had You mean one. period? Yeah, you sorry, said pregnancy. Sorry. I'm yeah. sorry, yeah. Her period, she had had them consistently every month. Um, so then I, you know, I started doing my charting and then we called in the housekeeper to clean the restroom. We call it like a terminal clean just when it's really, it needs to be mopped and everything. And then she felt the, the weight in the waste basket. And then that's when we found the, the baby and then moved it into the trauma room, trauma tube. And Did you trauma. find the baby? Did you see the baby? I saw the baby. Um, in the trash can or? In the trash can. HT, he was there. He's a, another nurse. And uh, Leela, she's the housekeeper. They initially found it. And I went over there and saw what you know, they had. And what exactly did you see when you looked in the trash um, can? I saw, I think at that point, they had already ripped the bag. But it was just laying, you know, at the base of the trash can under the liner that they had pulled up. And there was, like, some paper towels in that in that bag with the baby, and then we moved it over and took it out, put it on the bed, on the stretcher. And so, wait, so HT and Leela found it, you were, so yeah. what made you go to them? Did they tell you something, or did you just go? Um, I, I believe Leela basically called out for HT, I think, mm -hmm. and then he went over there, and then I went over there as well. Oh, you, after said, you went to go see what happened? Right, to okay. see what, because typically if someone's calling out in the ER, it's not Bad. good. Yeah, yeah. It's usually not good. Oh, and you've, you said you've been working here five years, so... Yeah, I've been working here about five years. So you're already prepped <laughs> for something bad? Well, not necessarily like this. This is definitely unusual for us, but, yeah, for bad stuff. You, if you hear someone kind of calling out, you always go check to see if they need help, basically. Yeah. And could you tell if the baby was alive or... or they did passed. not look alive. They yeah, did not look alive. Okay. Looked, yeah. But also, I, I think the time had passed since she left the the bathroom and it being in the bag, you know, it was just... How long do you think that was? Maybe like 10 or 15 minutes. I just have a right. guess. I don't know. Right. I have to look at the... And did, after the doctor went in and told her she was pregnant, did you have any other contact with her after that? With the patient? Mm -hmm. I I might have went in to have her sign some paperwork, but that was probably... That was we had, yeah, we had to transfer her okay. to get OB care and post... Okay. Did you have any contact with the baby after that? Uh, 
all we did, we brought the baby up. We called the doctor, obviously, out of the room from her exam. And uh, we came in, kind of doc assessed the baby and, you know, basically determined it was not viable to, to completely work the baby and all of that. So that was, that was about the extent of it. Okay. So and then your last contract was doing paperwork to transfer her out? Yeah. Okay. Do you know of anybody else that would have had contact with her that we should talk to? Uh, um, Marina Perez, she was the house supervisor. And that's probably about it. What does she do? do you, like, she, she came in and um, I, I don't exactly remember. She had a form of paperwork that she was helping fill out with Oh, so she's patient. filling out paperwork? Yeah, with, okay. with the patient. Did you see anything on in the hallway? Any any type of blood droplets or blood from the bathroom to the trauma trauma room? I, Did you see anything? I believe there was like a maybe from footprints or something. There might have been blood coming from the restroom to the back to her room. Okay. All right. Is there anything you think we should know about that we haven't asked? Not, just not necessarily not like factual things. Just you know, it, yeah, just, it seemed like we were being just deceived from the beginning. Like, but that that's just my my take on it. It seemed like she was very manipulative with us. And what did she appear like when she came in? She. I mean, could you tip? Because I know most women, you can tell mm. unless they're a large woman. Right. If I mean, she's a petite girl. Did you tell that maybe she was pregnant or? I could not. Um, she was. She was very. Uh, what, what would be the word? Not necessarily standoffish, but anytime you you asked her to lay down, she would kind of maneuver away from you. Almost, it seemed like you know. Thinking back, um, she she wouldn't want you to kind of. It, it was at least what it seemed like to me. She didn't want you to discover, you know, that she was pregnant, and she wore really baggy clothing. Um, yeah, and she, she would just, she wouldn't sit still for you. I'm sure she was very uncomfortable too, but yeah, she, she wouldn't allow you to do it. All right.